is wonderful, wonderful! <laughs> My ghost dragon will soon have melted the polar ice caps. The oceans of the Earth will rise and cover the globe. <laughs> and when the people of Earth find themselves walking in water, then they will bow to the rule of primeval. <laughs> You bet your magnificent one, they'll give you a warm welcome. <laughs> the ghost dragon works quickly. The waters of Earth must be rising already. Wonder how soon it will be noticed. <laughs> Jake? Uh, no thanks, Eddie. Looks pretty greasy. Greasy hamburgers are the best kind. They slide down so easily. <laughs> Maybe so, Eddie. But it looks sort of dangerous. You could start a... Yeah! Grease fire! Quick, give me that! No, Eddie, not water! Water won't work on a grease fire. The oil floats on the water. You have to use an extinguisher. Or, in an emergency, you can use baking soda or salt. I didn't know that. Glad you were here, Jake. No problem, dude. You okay now? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, just a little breathless. Drink some water. You'll feel better. Good idea. Huh? Jake? Yeah, Eddie, what is it? Couldn't you find the water? No, I, I found water all right. There's a whole ocean full of it outside. What? That's impossible. You must be seeing things. We're in the middle of the, of the city. What happened, Jake? Huh? That's what I said. Somehow we've drifted out to sea. Hey, Ghostbusters! Looks like they're all washed up. It's Jessica. Washed away is more like it, Jessica. Where all the water come from? No one knows for sure, but it seems that all the ice at the North Pole is melting. Oh, no, if the North Pole melts, uh, that means... Exactly, Eddie. The world will be flooded. It couldn't have happened naturally. But if it was done on purpose, who would possibly want to cover the whole world with water? Primeval! Of course. If the world is underwater, Primeval can mop up easily. Not if we can help it. Come on, guys. Into our uniforms. Let's go, go, Boat mode, GB. There's a whole sea of water out there. Really? Does that mean you're finally giving Tracy a bath? <laughs> Boat mode, motor mouth. I heard him, flea bag.
Head north, GB. How far north? As far as you can go. Well, we've reached the Arctic Ocean, guys. And it looks like the North Pole is definitely melting. What makes you so sure, Eddie? Just a hunch. Water must be getting deep. I wonder how Primeval is doing it. Uh, melting the ice caps, I mean. Oh, I'm not sure, Eddie, but I think the answer could be just ahead. Look, a ghost dragon. So that's how Primeval's doing it. Well, at least it's nothing we can't handle. You guys stay here where it's safe. I'll sneak up on that dragon and dematerialize him. Oh, Jake, be careful. That dragon looks dangerous. Don't worry, Jessica. Jake will be fine. Just listen for the dematerializer. There, all over. That dragon is history. <laughs> Didn't you zap the dragon with the dematerializer? Uh, of course I did. So what went wrong? I missed. You, you missed? missed? But that dragon is the size of a mountain. How could you miss? Hey, so I couldn't get close enough, okay? But Jake, where's the dematerializer now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Now we've really got a problem. Well, Brattlebat, has my ghost dragon finished melting the polar ice caps yet? <laughs> not yet, oh masterful one. What? Why not? What's causing the delay? <laughs> Ghostbusters, dead lord. Rat. Well, it's no surprise. Those clowns are always spoiling my fun. I suppose the ghost dragon's been dematerialized by now? No, that at least is good news, your vileness. The Ghostbusters have lost the dematerializer. <laughs> what? That is excellent news. I thought you'd like it, great one. Now nothing stands in my way! As soon as my dragon finishes melting the ice caps, I shall rule the world! All hail primeval! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how long those bumblers will last against my dragon! <laughs> Get ready to pump that water, guys! Now! <laughs> there! That should put out that ghost dragon's fires! Oh, no! Work, Jake, what do we do now? Uh, run. Okay. 
it, Tracy. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the Busters are having a hot time of it. We have to do something, GB. Get your super duper snow scooper. <laughs> Jessica, you too, GB. That sure slowed the dragon down. Yeah, but not for long. This could be our big break. Get in, everybody. GB, follow that dragon. Ah! Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Is, Jessica. That's why we must stop that ghost dragon. Don't lose him, Tracy. <laughs> but Jake, I don't understand. Why would a dragon come all the way out here to refuel? Unless. Hey, look! That ghost dragon's headed for that oil rig. The dragon is drinking thousands of gallons of oil. That's the answer, then. The dragon's fire is fueled by oil. <laughs> oil, of course. That's the reason we couldn't put out his fire with water. You mean the oil is like the grease on my hamburger, Jake? Exactly, Eddie. The oil floats on the surface of the water, so we couldn't use water to fight the dragon. But what can we use? You put out my grease fire with a fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher! Of course! You hit it, Eddie! Let's move, Tracy. Okie dokie. Now, just a cotton-picking minute. Where are we going? <laughs> to a fire extinguisher factory, GB. And hurry, there isn't much time. That's the biggest fire extinguisher we make. It's made to put out forest fires. Will it be big enough? Well, we sure hope so. The flooding's getting serious. You're telling me it's getting really hard to find a parking space around here. I came to work in my boat. Well, good luck, Ghostbusters. We'll mail you the bill. Any sign of the dragon? No. Yes! Down there, Jake! There it is! And hard at work, too. Well, we'll soon take care of that. But how are we gonna use the extinguisher to put out the dragon's fire? I've got a plan. You guys just be ready to fire that extinguisher when the dragon opens his mouth. Made it! 
Now for that dragon. Fortunately, there's a full moon. Wizard Fuddy, hear my plea. I need strength immediately. <laughs> It's strong, not invisible. <laughs> Darn it, I used the wrong magic wand. Well, I'll just have to do what I can. How on earth is Jake gonna make that dragon open his mouth? I don't know, Jessica, but we have to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Open his mouth! Dive, Tracy, dive! Okay, okay. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Yeah! It's working! Good to you! Boy, I'm sure glad I'm invisible. I'd sure hate to be this close to a dragon if I weren't. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in for a frying time. Hurry, Tracy! <laughs> Bullseye! And just in time! Now to see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> That dragon was pure fire. Put out the fire. And there's nothing left. Hey, and look, we even got our dematerializer back. Looks like another happy ending, guys. Well, I don't know, Jake. I bet I know someone who isn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> Rat, my magnificent ghost dragon destroyed. Even now, the ice caps on Earth are reforming. The planet is safe. Once again, my plans have been ruined by those dratted ghost busters. Is anything the matter, glorious one? Those blasted ghost bunglers made me so upset I forgot to eat. I'm starved! Never fear, wondrous one! I'll cook you up something delicious! <laughs> How about a nice greasy hamburger? <laughs> In today's story, we saw the Ghostbusters dealing with a fire-breathing dragon. Now, dragons may not be real, but fire definitely is. And as you can see, it's very dangerous. Fire can burn trees and houses and even people. So remember, matches and cigarette lighters are not toys. Anything that makes fire is dangerous, so play it cool. And don't play with matches. You might get hurt very badly. And we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Bye now. Happy birthday, Tracy! Mommy? Yeah, look out the window, Tracy. There's a special surprise for you. <laughs> I wish we could have waited for Jessica. The banana tree that we planted outside was her idea. We waited as long as we could. Do you like it? <laughs> you, you don't? don't. <laughs> the city! It's gone! But that's not possible. What happened? I don't know. But maybe we're about to find out. Yeah, hello. Yeah, sorry. The Ghostbusters aren't here right now. And even when they're here, they're not <laughs> Never mind. Ghostbusters, Jake here. Hello there, Ghost Bunglers. 
Have you looked out your window lately? I should have known that you were the only one evil and mean enough to kidnap an entire city. Flattery gets you nowhere with me. You'll never get away with it, Prime Evil. You know we'll fight you. I don't want you to fight me. This time, I want you to help me. Help you? Yes. Turn on the Skelevision. Eddie, turn on the Skelevision. Tonight's ghost report is about a character so evil and nasty that he makes Prime Evil look like Mr. Nice Guy. His name is Big Evil. Big Evil's already taken over my haunt quarters. I've got to have your help. Why should we help you? Because if you don't, you'll never see your city again. I don't like the idea of helping Prime Evil. I don't either, but we've got no choice. Let's go! Go! Let's go! Scepter. That's what I said. It looks like this. It's a device invented by Dr. Creep to give me mega power. Mega power? As big as atomic power? Bigger! But when Dr. Creep gave the scepter to Big Evil, all the other ghosts went over to his side. Except for me, of course. Nasty business, what? <laughs> if we're going to help you, there's one thing I want to settle first. Return the city to Earth right now. If I do, how do I know you still help me? You're just going to have to learn to trust us, Prime Oh, no! It's Big Evil's Dragon Patrol! Can't you sit ducks here on the ground? Good thinking, Tracy. We'll fight it where it lives, in the air. Let's take off! Oh, take off? Are you kidding? That's a dragon up there! Would you rather stay on the ground and be a target? What are we waiting for? Let's take off! I'll take care of the next one. Time to cool you off. Open the radiator, Tracy. Steady, Tracy. Steady. That takes care of that. This big evil. 
Where is he? In Hulk quarters. Can you get us in there? Of course I can. Then I think it's time to get it back. Tracy, you and Hunter go in the back way. We'll go in the front. Primeval! Oh, great one! I, I hope you don't hold me responsible for be evil taking over! I hate traitors! Wait, wait, wait! I'm still loyal! I, I secretly made another scepter! <laughs> Just for you! Now I can fight big evil on his own terms! It's time for the showdown! There's only one problem! Where's Big Evil? Right here! I'm glad you could attend the party. I'd like you to meet a few of my friends. Leave this to me! It didn't work! It wasn't meant to work, you fool. It was meant to trap you. Good work, Creed. I'm, I'm yours to command, you exalted emperor of evil! <laughs> If Tracy and Hunter don't get here soon, we're in big trouble. It seems I've got us lost, old Nevins. Hope the main chamber is around here somewhere. The others are depending on us to surprise Big Evil. Hear me now, old wizard Fuddy. Give me strength. And do it fast, buddy. Take this, stone face. You call that strength? <laughs> All I heard was fast. Wow, look at Jake go! He's as fast as a tornado! A tornado! That's it! Way to go, Jake! Don't waste time with the gargoyles! Get big evil! Right! I've got the speed to do it! Got the speed, eh? Let's see if this slows you down. Finished, Prime has been. Nothing stands between me and total power! <laughs> Big 
Jake. Do something. Never call him an ape. It makes him lose his temper. Let's make Tracy lose his temper with Big Evil. Hey, no. Before we do anything else, return our city to Earth. If I do that, why would you still help me? Because we said we would, and we keep our word. Yeah, that's what makes us the good guys. Oh, <laughs> very well. Watch, I'll send your city back to Earth. Uh-oh, it's still there. Something's interfering with my magic. Not something, you cut-rate conjurer. Someone! I control the city now! <laughs> I can't move! Me either! He's using paralyzer beams! You have no power anymore, Prime Cream Puff! He still has enough power to take care of you! Jake, let's think this over! Shh! In fact, Big Blowhard, if you're ghost enough to put down that scepter, he challenges you to go one-on-one -on -one with him. Don't you, Prime Evil? <laughs> See? He can't wait! <laughs> Challenge accepted, young fool. I think our little contest requires a more suitable arena. <laughs> Jake, I'm scared. You sure Prime Evil can handle this guy? I wouldn't worry about Prime Evil, Ghostbusters. He's not the one I'm challenging. You are. What? You Ghostbusters have defeated Prime Evil so many times that it's obvious you're the real threat. Who wants to be first? <laughs> A volunteer. Okay, Eddie, how would you like to meet a special young lady? She, she looks kind of cute. Wait until you get a closer look. Medusa! Don't look in her eyes, Eddie. She'll turn you to stone. Hey, guys, what do I do? <laughs> Idea, Tracy. Clever, Eddie. But it won't work. Here's mud in your eye. Poor thing. Let me polish you off. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Score one for the home team. He's so confident he's got energy to waste. Yes. Or does he? Tracy, old friend. The Ghostbusters count on you to handle the big problems. Handle this. I know how to make him blow his fuse. Your turn, Jake. Let's see what I can do for you. Well, I hope it's more exciting than the dull stuff you've done so far. Dull? Sure. Medusas, giant statues, Roman arenas, pathetic. You know what your problem is, Big Evil? You've got all this power and no imagination. Imagination? 
I'll show you imagination. Let's see what you think of this. <laughs> Don't worry, GB. Wait till we finish. You'll love it. 
Stop that! Stop it! You see, I told you you'd like it when Tracy Cup finished. I'm not laughing because I like it. I'm laughing because he's tickling me. How's it going, guys? Great! Tracy's almost finished. Well, I've been finished for hours. This furry fathead won't stop tickling my joints. Come on, GB. Tracy means well. He just wants to be your friend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> stop that! <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? With friends like that, who needs enemies? Okay, guys, stop teasing GB. Is it almost finished, Trace? Oh, <laughs> Great. This Fright Freezer's gonna come in handy the next time we go ghost busting. Fright Freezer? You're kidding. If that thing leaks, it'll freeze my frame. Don't worry. We'll give it a good test. Oh, sure you will. But when? It's the ghost alarm. Okay, GB. We're gonna test that Fright Freezer sooner than I thought. Let's go go! Ready to go. Suffering spirits, what's that? Yeah, watch your steering, you ape. It's gonna hit us. That's no ghost, it's a flying saucer. Whatever it is, it's gaining on us. trying to tell us. I'm not sure. He's pointing to his backpack. He's got a transmitter. If he turns it on, we'll be able to track him with the Jeep beeper. Good thinking, Eddie. Let's switch on that Jeep beeper. I think that's it. It is. We're tracking him. Here we go. Come on, GB. Let's convert to rock ship. Oh, no. The last time you did that, I nearly burned off my fenders. No choice. We gotta rescue Tracy. We do? Why? Here we go! Oh, no!
Oh, yeah, those rockets are over eating my fenders. Don't worry, Chibi. The signals are getting stronger. I think we found where Tracy's been taken. There! toward that jungle area. Look out! Time for a fast exit! Can't be too soon for me! We're going too fast! Pull up, GB! Pull up! Till till too late. We're getting more fit to go and in. Are you okay, Eddie? I'll tell you in a minute. Let's see. One, two legs. Uh, one, two arms. <laughs> Ten fingers. Yeah, I'm okay. Come on, let's get him out of there. It took you long enough. Do you know what that dirt to do to my car? I've got a very delicate mechanism, and you took a big chance. Jake, look. What are they? Ghosts! By crash landing me in this jungle just to rescue that over a ghost? Where? Oh boy! Why did I ever become a ghost buster? Ghosts! That's all we need! Hit those bozos with a dematerializer, Eddie! I'll try to get the fright freezer working! Just go home. I wouldn't even mind getting my fenders burned again. You know you care as much about Tracy as we do, GB. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, here they come. Okay, Eddie, now. Wait. We come in friendship. Don't believe the bozo, Jake. Now hold it, Eddie. The dematerializer won't work. He's no ghost. We know you have come to rescue the Earth Gorilla, Tracy. How do you know that? Look, this is your friend. He has been captured by the great ghost gorilla. Yeah, well, let me at that bonzo. I'll make him the gone ghost Magilla. It will not be so easy. The great ghost gorilla has controlled our planet since he came here from your Earth many years ago. My friends and I have long fought to overcome him, but he is very strong. But what does he want with Tracy? That is the worst part. 
He knows of your friend's intelligence and great strength. He intends to use Tracy's measurements as a model for an army of super ghost gorillas. Well, he's not going to get away with it. I was hoping you'd say that. If we work together, perhaps we can make sure he doesn't. <laughs> Gorilla's headquarters are just beyond this group of trees. We must be careful. Wait here, GB. Wait here? Where else is there to go? There it is. How do we get in? We'll have to get the robots out of the way first. You handle the robots and we'll get Tracy out. I'm afraid the great ghost gorilla will stand in your way. Don't worry, Gorlon. We'll think of something. Just clear out those robots. We'll do our best. Let's move in as soon as Gorlon and his friends hit the robots. Right! Good. <laughs> Good. Let them out and make some more. Yes, Master. <laughs> The Rebels are hitting the robots! That'll keep them busy! Come on! Let's go rescue Tracy! Pretty lonely here! I don't like it here at all! So I'm getting out! That overstuffed monkey can rescue himself! But I can't take off through these trees! I'll have to find a clearing! Master, Master, the Rebels are attacking. They're destroying our robots. Those fools. They've given me the perfect chance to test my new ghost gorillas. <laughs> Send them out to finish off the Rebels. Careful! Someone's coming out! Saffron Simeons! It's a bunch of ghost gorillas! And they look like Tracy! Yeah, and they're headed for the rebels! We better try to stop them. These ghost grenades will send a few of them into limbo. <laughs> Got him! Yeah, but there's more of those geeks! Let's get out the ghost gummers! It's working! Let's zap them with some more ghost gum! Yeah, once they're gummed up, we can hit them with the dematerializer! Master, the ghost busters are dematerializing the ghost gorillas! Blast! Ooh, ooh. There's no time to make any more! 
quickly. Ooh, ooh. Open the Earth Gorilla's capsule. We've got to get him away before the Ghostbusters rescue him. McLaren, at last! <laughs> now I can get out of here. What's that? <laughs> it's Tracy in chains. <laughs> You won't get away that easily, Earthling. I'm twice as big as you. Now I've got you. I can't take off and leave, Tracy. I've got to help him, even if he is a fat head in the driver's seat. Maybe that fright freeze will be good for something after all. Cool it, Ghost Gorilla. Tracy, are you all right? Gosh, GB, you saved Tracy. <laughs> well, or I, uh, somebody had to do it. Yes. And you've helped us rid our planet of the great ghost gorillas, robots, and ghosts, too. I hope so, but what about him? There is a frozen cavern at the North Pole of our planet. It's cold enough there to keep the great ghost gorilla frozen for the next thousand years. I hope that's long enough. Can we go home now? I think you're right, GB. Thanks for your help, Gorwan. Thanks for yours. The Ghostbusters will always be remembered on Gorillium. If we can ever return the favor, call on us. That was a tough job, but we at least found out one thing. What's that? That GB really cares about Trace. Yeah. Thanks, GB. Don't overdo it, Furbo. The only reason I rescued you was so you could go on a diet starting now. Okie dokie. Look, GB, Tracy's already started. He's cutting back to 50 bananas a day. Third floor, Scalivator. <laughs> Scally, stop! Third floor! Thought you might like to see the full moon from the 35th floor. There is no 35th floor. I know. <laughs> Come on, Skelevator, cut the comedy. Next stop, the observation floor. Ding! Cut it out! Whoa! Oh, today's story was about the great ghost gorilla, but it's also about friendship. Well, remember when GB got scared and decided to go home alone? He forgot how important his friends were to him. Until he saw Tracy in danger. Of course, you should never do anything dangerous, but when a friend is in trouble, there's always a way to get help, even if it means going to an adult, a teacher, a parent, or a policeman to explain the problem. Ah, uh, because that's what friends are all about, right? <laughs> right. 